Wow. Wow. What a beautiful day to spend indoors. It is blustery and snowy out there. And for that reason, I will be playing with my Hot Wheels today in the basement. Welcome back, viewers of the Diecast channel. Today, we're taking a little tour of the upstairs as I have switched a few things around. And, oh, look, there's a guy on a bicycle. What are you doing out there? It's like wintertime. Bicycle man in the winter. Where did you go? Wipe out? Uh, nope. No wipe out. Maybe he's got E.T. He's on the run. I don't know. Anyways. Got a few plants. Everything's kind of moved around a smidge. Got the money tree next to the uh, ancient horse from the 1700s. That's a carousel horse. Found it at uh, Value Village. 200 bucks. Sweet deal. Uh, Chevalera. Couple other trees, plants, whatever. Monstera, beauty. What a beauty. Uh, garbage find lamps. Found these at the side of the road. Got a matching pair. Did nothing except install some 40 watt bulbs in those garbage finds. Amazing what some people throw away. Here we go. There's the other one. So, I mean, we're in the living room. This is the living room. It is winter time. And what better thing to do on a wintry, blustery Saturday morning, and go play with your Hot Wheels. And as it would turn out, we've got a few mailbox finds here. Big, huge uh, order for me that I picked up at the post office. Tons of special green light in that box. And then this massive box of Auto World Johnny Lightning and some Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Just got that at the local diecast store. Oh, really a diecast? So let's take it all downstairs and uh, see where it fits. Down you go. <laughs> it is almost time for a swim. Just as soon as I can, I will open the pool and I will be resuming spring swimming. Last time I opened the pool, it was March 30th or 31st, so we got to try and beat it if possible. However, I do need to peel back the tarp. I'm not cutting a hole through the darn tarp. So, Kitty, are you going to go for a swim? Where is Nina today? Well, she is basking in cat meditation land where everything is peaceful and quiet. Um, are you going to come down and play with Hot Wheels? We are doing an Ace Ventura style delivery of the die cast to the Hot Wheels Museum. Which, as you can see, is overloaded with cars everywhere. Watch where we, where we step around here these days because the big sort continues. Here we go. Let's get out onto the review table. We're going to get into this box of green light and other assorted goodies momentarily. Huge box, like I said, of green light. So we're going to open this up. This was, I believe, an eBay purchase or possibly a purchase from Passion Diecast. So, likely going to be green light and some assorted things. Mostly messy by the looks of it. Oh no, my favorite styrofoam peas. Look at it all. Yeah, this is uh, just a ton of stuff, pretty sure. And uh, I did have to get myself another one of these 2018 ram 3500 dually rigs very cool uh it is a green light exclusive it's got the gooseneck attachment so you can do the old hitch and toe 
appears. I got uh, a couple of those, even though I've already got one. Static. There's another one. Let's have a look at that. That one was loose already. Uh, some more green light. Just various cars from various series I like. This one is from Greenlight Muscle Series 22. It's the 60 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi. So these are all getting opened up. As part of this video review. The 88 Dodge Diplomat California Highway Patrol Limited Edition. Although this is part of the Hot Pursuit Series. Oh, it is. Series 39. So that is Series 39. I guess uh, we'll see if I've got the whole set in here or not. I'm not really sure. This one is just an exclusive. So Hot Pursuit. No series number. 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe Police Pursuit Vehicle. Also getting opened up. That's a new collectible to my collection. Wow, check it out. Another uh, Series 40. Hot Pursuit, 89 Chevrolet Caprice, classic. Green and white, says volunteer on the light bar. Volunteer Sheriff, what does that entail? Free gun, free car, awesome, sign me up. And uh, Georgia State Patrol. Very cool, 89 Special Services Ford Mustang, metallic blue and white, 001 Markings on the roof. Very cool. That's likely an exclusive of some sort. An Acme exclusive. Really wish. What? Oh my goodness. Anyways. Uh, absolutely an exclusive. I could not live without. And that is the 81 Chevrolet El Camino. Another exclusive. Awesome. So we're going to find that one in the Greenlight Vintage Ad Car series as well, which I have yet to review. Probably should. Definitely fitting to see this one first because I think this was the first release of this El Camino. Very, very awesome casting. Got the IROC rims on it. And another exclusive. Massachusetts State Police 81 Ford LTDS. Quite neat. So look at all these cars. Just a ton of these cars. Yikes, another awesome exclusive. As you can see, the Jeep Gladiator Honcho J10 Tribute. The Honcho on the door. Gloss black with gold and white rims. Trim package offered on the J10 pickup from 76 to 83. Featured bull striping. This is not an old vehicle, though. Oh, we got a third one of these. I guess I really wanted some El Caminos for the collection. Certainly one of these is going to go to the junkyard for some junkification. And uh, New York State Police on this one. Another exclusive. 1990 Chevrolet Caprice. The uh, state trooper livery on the sides. These are all getting opened up. Really nothing going on the packaging. Uh, Hot Pursuit Series 39. So we've got a few vehicles from the Hot Pursuit Series, but not a complete series. I do not collect complete series anymore, as there's just so much to choose from. But there you can find some of the other vehicles in Series 39. Looks like Series 40 is the newest. And the final car out is probably one of the coolest. That is an exclusive 1968 Los Angeles Times Grand Prix. There it is. Wow. Absolutely love the Plymouth Roadrunner. Just one of my absolute favorite muscle cars of all time. And look at the paint job we've got on here. It'll be hard to open this one up, but it is indeed getting opened up. And I do keep the card backs. I recycle all the plastic, but uh, there you go. Some information on that. And so we've got quite a little pile of green light to open up for you guys today. Wow, what a surprise. And so here we have the assortment today getting viewed. 
It's going to focus on all of these awesome die casts. Last time you're going to see them in the package. We're going to do a straight opening and unboxing of these off camera. So you will see them all loose for the review. So many different cool vehicles to choose from here. And, uh, well, as you can see, I like my Plymouth Roadrunners, my Chevelle, Chevrolet El Caminos, and, of course, police cars. And, of course, I did mention that I was at the local diecast store and do have a box here. So let's just empty out. We're not going to review what's in this box. But in case you're wondering what is in there, let's have a look. We'll get out on the table here and see what do we have. Pull up a chair, pull up a seat. Just some random bits and bobs. I'm not sure if it'll make it into its own separate video or not. We got some new Matchbox cars. Pretty cool. Uh, what is this? A 69, 49 Curtis sports car. I've never seen this before. Brand new casting from Matchbox. Pretty darn cool. Uh, this is an older casting with a Volkswagen Microbus. I'm pretty sure it's a concept vehicle. So released in 2001. Wow, that's old. 20 plus years old. Uh, Fast and Furious car, just random, random opener, let's check it out, oh yeah, very cool, nice, look at the spoiler on this car, so I don't know that I have this in my collection, but whatever, now it's open, might not crack this one open immediately, I do believe this is a Kmart uh, mail away car, 69 Chevelle SS 396 2014 Collector Edition. So it does have real rider wheels. And uh, yeah, 2013, 2014 copyright. Pretty cool. Don't know what to make of that one. Uh, a treasure hunt here, I think, in a Blisto pack. This is current, so I don't know, not a big deal. It's just a main line, but see it's got the flag on the back. Someone thought important enough to put it in a Blisto pack. So I've got that. And another one of these, of course, so we can do a opening of this car. How to get duplicates? They come in cardboard and packaging. So, anyways, that's that. What else did we get? What else did we get? Ooh, sneak peek. We've got Auto World coming. Got several sealed cases of Auto World. This is one of the new castings in that lot. Stick around for that one because we're gonna have videos coming up. And a Johnny Lightning. This one's new. Release 3, 41 Willys pickup truck. It's hard to see. You zoom in, but wow. Check out the graphics on that one. I forget that's going to be a separate video because I've got lots of Johnny Lightning open for you guys. And, uh, well, here's another one. Auto World. The uh, Release 4. This is, again, this is a new one. 63 Chevy Nova 2 wagon. So you're going to find that. I'm pretty sure these are in... Not the same box, because one's got the red top, one's got the white top, but they're both release four. And so you're going to see those in these. We've got the Auto World Premium Diecast Release 5 2021. So these are last year, but we're just getting them here in Canada now. So you're going to see that opened up. Chance of a red Auto World chase car in there. And uh, we've got a couple more here. I don't know if they're going to come out. All right. I think they're going to drop now. Yes, sir. Two more cases of cars. And we've got uh, Auto World Premium Release 4. So we've got Release 5 and Release 4. Interesting. Two different releases. Maybe I was wrong about those Nova Wagons and the other ones. And then we've got... Uh, Another one, Auto World Release 4. So, two Release 4s. These are going to be alternate colors. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, there's the A case, as you can see. But A case, 06A and 06B. So, alternate colors there. That's going to be in a future video. And then, whatever this is, Release 5. I guess I've only got one color of that one, but we'll find out what it is. I don't remember exactly. Maybe we can get a hint off of these. That is a release four, and that is a release four. So, yeah, surprise, mystery element. Hey, would you look at that? Got another 2014 release here. This was my choice model back then. It was the Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's 
Well, that's up on the uh, display wall in the Diecast Museum. Looks like we're going to have to make room for the Chevelle now, as it is matching. Well, it would appear that we have a kitty cat in the uh, Hot Wheels review chair, so that needs to change really quickly. And uh, I'm going to open up all of these green light cars in real time. Oh, oh my gosh. Wakey, wakey. We're going to do a little bit of a time lapse here. Opening green lights. I've already got a few of these trucks open, so I'm just going to go ahead. All right, that's all of the cars opened up. Got a few duplicates still in the packaging that we're gonna leave for now because we've got at least one opened up. Didn't need to open those up because we got the truck already from previous releases. A little bit of plastic waste, a couple little styrofoam nib niblets. Uh, oh God. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> all righty. Let's get all these cars opened up for the review right now. Everything is pre-snipped and cracked so we can get ready to opening. Uh, like I said, I did buy a couple extras of this particular truck. I just think it's fantastic and uh, does have the goose neck attachment on it. Hitch and tow hitch. This kind of flat desert camo look. It's even got a dusted base. True rubber dualies. So yeah, I just wanted a few extra of those. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. But get them while you can. They won't be around forever. And the next vehicle. Probably one I have been waiting for for quite some time. It's the El Camino. Let's take a look at this beauty does come with a removable rear cover and uh, lots of details. Nice shiny base. I've not gone ahead and pre-shone any of these with my microfiber rag, but you can see it comes with a nice little plastic cap, transparent windows, El Camino. Very cool. Absolutely love this car. This, I do believe, is the first release of the El Camino. Mm. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Some nice side-by-side uh, -side comparisons there. And the, uh, the next vehicle we're going to open up is going to be the 68 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi. And we've also got the 69, so... Some differences there. We'll check that out momentarily. What a nice old casting from Greenlight. Check out the quality on this one. Clear windows, shiny paint, and uh, red line tires lined up nicely. Opening hood. Probably one of the nicest green lights I've opened up straight out of the package, realistically. Very cool. And it's a roller. So let's park it in next to the other vehicles that we have so far, F. And the Grand Prix. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful casting. No issues with the windows on this one. Maybe it's built in a different factory than some green lights. I don't really know how some of them avoid all that uh, window goop. And other flaws that we often see on green lights. Oh, careful. Hmm. The hood the hood opened nicely. Yeah, still closes pretty decent. 
But that is a beautiful car. Nice white wall wheels. And check out difference in the rear. So different models year to year. It's more than just uh, changes in the hood. Got changes in the tail lights. Changes on the headlights. Greenlight does a fantastic job of doing year-to-year -year variations on real-life vehicles. Uh, speaking of which, let's see. Do we find any variations on the Jeeps? We've got the Hot Pursuit Series 39. So, yes, we already looked at what was available there. Anything else I wish I'd bought? 82 Mustang would have been nice. 88 Dodge Diplomat we have. And the rest of them... Well, 87 Chevrolet Caprice. I don't have that one because that one's a release 40. So it would have been nice to get that one. Just keep my eye out for it. Um, careful. Crunch, de crunch, crunch, crunch. This one comes with an elastic band holding the tonneau cover on. And as you can see, Jeep Law on the hood. Really nice details. There's the gluey window that we've come to know and love from Greenlight. Jeep Law. Superb casting, though. Um, can we get that off without using special tools? Some specialty tools are required here to ensure that we don't rip any taillights off. That's the way to do it. Because if you snag that rubber band on one of these taillights, guaranteed they're going to pop. And a nicely detailed bed in the back of this Jeep. Tunnel cover does sit on there pretty good. It's not completely uh, in situ. And here's a very nice looking Jeep. We'll see if it has, it does not have a tonic cover, so we're not going to have that elastic band issue. The honcho. Check it out. Only thing I wish was that the wheels weren't fully filled in. It looks like the plastic flashing has completely filled in the wheel holes on this. So that's not ideal, but still a beautiful casting of the Jeep Honcho. Nice shiny black paint, paint nice clear windows. And uh, how does that look next to the Hot Pursuit Jeep? Both are very good. I like them a lot. Got another roller. And okay, so where are we gonna go to now? How about another big vehicle? The Texas Highway Patrol, this is the exclusive, so it's not part of a Hot Pursuit series. Just an exclusive that you might be able to find. It's got a blacked out light bar on the roof. Tons and tons of glue inside the window. Oh, that's not a shame. It does wipe off the side, so that's good. You can probably clean up a little bit. And... Uh, State Trooper. Check out those lights on the back uh, upper roof pillars. We've got red and blue alternating. Very cool. State Trooper truck. Love this casting. It's solid. It's a nice big solid casting. And we've got a few more police vehicles to look at. Let's check out Georgia State Patrol. E9 Ford Special. High hopes for this one. Do believe it has an opening hood. Wow. Check out that glittery blue paint. Nice clear windows. Well adjusted taillights. And uh, even some details on the interior. Yes, we have the opening hood. Very cool. Ooh, it's a nice, supple, rolling car. A couple more from Hot Pursuit. We've got the 88 Dodge Diplomat. This is a casting I go for nearly every time. Series 39, once again, we're going to check out what's on the back of Series 40 because I don't actually quite remember. Push bars on this car. The old 
Diplomat. I remember seeing these cars on the road all the time, not all that long ago. Maybe it was 10, 20 years ago. It's hard to say now. Oh, well, there goes the clock in the background. Highway Patrol. Very nice looking car. No issues that I can see on this one. Vehicle Pollution Enforcement Program. <laughs> they sure... Oh, as I say, no flaws that I can see on this one. We've got some gluey goo on the roof. Probably could get that off some goo gone or something. Another nice rolling car. All right. Hot Pursuit Series 4D. What cars were available there? Jeep. Ford F-250, Nissan GTR, so really nothing I couldn't live without here. This is the car for me. I'd probably buy six of these before I buy all of those, so love these big old four-door boxy cars. We've got the giant push bars on the front of this one. A um, little bit crooked, but they're just glued on, so you can adjust that. Sheriff in training, perhaps, I don't know, volunteer. Oh my goodness. Does it have to be so bad? Like, really, we've got DNA on the inside of this car here. I guess some of it's on the outside. We're able to wipe it off just by smudging it. Anyways, I really like the wheels, how they've got that green, chromey tinge to them. And uh, super nice casting. Definitely don't think I have every casting of this car now. They've been, Greenlight's been producing a lot of these castings, and it's hard to keep up. Here is definitely another favorite, of course, and I don't know that we've seen one with these styles of headlights on them, so very excited to get this one open. Big old singular headlights with some uh, police lights in the grill. State police. Nice light bar on this one. Really, really well done. Good clear windows all the way around. Tail lights are pretty decent. 1913 is the production number on this particular car. Wow, that's a gorgeous car. Love it. Gorgeous. To the eye of the beholder, but here we go. Just a nice big squad of colorful police cars. Very, very cool. And we've got one left. That is the New York State Police. Another Chevy Caprice. Very nice and clear. A little bit of shine up might be needed. Windows are decent. Very cool. I love how the wheels look so authentic and realistic to this car. If you're familiar with the Caprice Classic, those are very Caprice style hubcaps. It's got two Caprices right here. And there you have it. Super cool. So, which of these cars is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And uh, we've got a few extras, like I said, in the background. So, we'll do something with those. Many of these cars are going to end up on the junkyard. And, of course, if you're after any of these cars, as always, happy hunting.